so in this lecture we will learn how to define the load combinations um, before defining the load combinations by automatic uh, option we need to check what exactly is our uh, code selector so our code selector is IS800 so accordingly the software will generate the load combinations so we can left click on add default design combos we can check for steel frame design convert user combination editable left click on ok and uh, we can also name them and uh, again left click on ok to save the model so until now we have modeled the uh, holding structure we have defined the load patterns load cases and load combinations and supports and releases after that we need to uh, analyze and check the model that whether there is some modeling deficiency in the structural model so it is showing that model has been checked no warning message messages were generated and after that we need to check the advanced software option right now we use advanced solver and analysis process options is auto and uh, after that we need to uh, check for select set load cases to run here we can see that eigen uh, model cases are defined so what we can do here is that we can define the model cases as of reads and we can set them to be acceleration ux and uy to be 99% and we can tell number of modes are sufficient for this type of structure after that when we are analyzing the structure So we need to check that whether the structure has run into any ki kind of instability or not. So we need to go to analyze and uh, left click on last analysis run log. So here we will see that it is showing that the structure is unstable or ill conditioned. So check the structure KL3 for inadequate support conditions or one or more internal mechanisms, zero or negative stiffness properties, extremely large stiffness properties, buckling into feed delta, frequency shift on to natural frequency. So it is showing that to remove this uh, instability, we should use the standard solver or run an eigen analysis using uh, auto frequency shifting and investigate the mode shifts. So what we will do is that we will uh, analyze the structure with the standard solver. As this is a very small structure, so what we can uh, do here is that we can go to analyze and uh, advanced sapphire options select standard solver and then again analyze the structure so here uh, we will go to again last analysis run log so here we will see that it is showing that numerical problems encountered during equation solution that is the problem is coming on the joint number 61 and 60 so these two joints are basically giving us the problem or giving us the instability joint number 60 and 61 it is showing the degree of freedom is rz along z axis and uh, x coordinate and y coordinate and z coordinate is given and the deformation is approximately in the range of e to the power minus 10 so this is like an instability and what we can do here to remove this instability is that either we can delete this arrangement and uh, model them again and check that whether the uh, desired arrangement is correct or not or what we can do here is that we can just uh, hide this shell object make selected objects invisible and then uh, unlock the model and then simply delete the structure and uh, what we can do here is that we can just press ctrl c ctrl v on the keyboard now this distance is 3 meter and this distance is 0 0.8 so we enter delta x as 3.8 meter left click on ok and uh, after that we need to model these vertical members these vertical members are isa 150 150 and 10 so we can draw beams by this option also we select the property as isa 150 150 10 
and draw these beams. These members are ISS 75, 75 and 6. And uh, we need to assign re uh, releases to these members again. Assign frame and release partial facility. We need to assign releases to these members also. We go to assign frame and uh, releases partial facility and then left click on apply and okay. And then again we check for this uh, instability. We go to uh, analyze and last analysis download. And then it is showing that the structure is again unstable on giant number 55. So let us check that what where exactly is this uh, giant number 55. This is the giant number 55 and it is showing the instability. Uh, what we can do here is that we can check the releases here. Press Ctrl plus W on a keyboard. So now we go to analyze and run, run analysis. We go to analyze and uh, last analysis run log to check it with whether the st structure is now still unstable or stable. So we'll see that there is one more uh, this uh, instability here on join number 55. So let us check that what uh, exactly is the join number 55. Press Ctrl plus W on your keyboard. Select object assignments and unique names. So here we will see that join number 55 is this one. So maybe th uh, the joint is being released on uh, two points. That is why it is showing instability. So as a trial and error what we can do here is that unlock the model and do not assign any releases to this member. So we go to assign frame and releases partial facility. No releases and apply and ok. And after that we need to again analyze the structure and check that the whether the instability is still there or not. So we go to last analysis run log and yes here we see that the instability is now removed so it all depends upon the engine your engineering judgment that what exactly can be the problem 
in our structure. So this is the deformed shape under the dead load. And uh, we can also check the model shapes which should be very bizarre in this type of cantilever structure. So this is the first mode shape. First mode shape is itself torsion shape. And uh, second mode shape is this uh, is like this and uh, third mode shape is like this opening and closing and our fundamental time period is approximately 3.678 seconds so uh, in the next lecture we will learn how to design this steel structure